Hi, hello, welcome to today's video. Today's video is um, an attempt number two to film this video, if I'm being honest. I tried to film this yesterday, but there was a technical difficulty because of which I couldn't go beyond swatch number two. In a way, I'm kind of glad it didn't work out because my mood was really, really low yesterday and I think I got that bad energy that I was I was trying to, sh to shoot to cheer myself up but I think I just kind of was in such a bad headspace um, that it, nothing was working out in my favor and today I'm in a happier mood and hopefully today's video will go exactly as I have planned. So as the title may have told you, the whole agenda of today's video is to give you a few of my favorite lipstick swatches and without any makeup, I feel like a lot of people who don't live a blogger's life like I do, who are busy on the everyday with work or college or taking care of your kids, even if you're a homemaker, you wanna step out of the house. One of the first things all of us gravitate towards is lipsticks because it is that instant pick me up. It is also one of those things that we kind of take to first in the world of makeup. At least it was for me and for a lot of people that I know because I did a lot of research while launching lipsticks, while launching Wearified. There will be a couple of Wearified lipsticks in today's video, but there's a lot of other ones as well because I didn't want this video to feel sponsored and just Wearified, Wearified, Wearified. Of course, it's my brand and I love it and I think we have the best formula, but I want to give you options, very realistically speaking, and want to be unbiased and fair, just on all accounts. So I have absolutely zero makeup on my face except for some moisture moisturizer that I applied at like I want to say 8 9 a.m. it is currently 1 32 p.m. and I have no lip oil even I have consciously not applied anything because I just wanted this to be as raw real natural as anybody else might you know probably uh, wear this I have no concealer haven't bothered doing any mascara haven't had my brows done messing them up further wow stop on them okay I'm gonna go ahead not make this intro any longer and start out with our first lipstick The lipstick I'm wearing right now is from Fenty. It is the shade Uncuffed. Now at the moment, it's still looking a little bit glossy on my lips because it does take a couple of minutes to dry out, but I don't mind it. It is one of the most stunning pink mauve shades that I have ever, ever, ever tried out. The formula is really, really nice and thin, very lightweight. You do feel like you're wearing something, but also not feel like you're wearing anything on your lips. The only time I've really had to touch up this lipstick is if I've eaten something that's super oily, but to be honest, that's consistent with absolutely most makeup items you wear. Oil does break down the molecular formula of most makeup items. I would say all makeup items with very rare exceptions. Um, the only con about this product, obviously, is the fact that Fenty is not yet available in India. That girl really should bring this to India really soon. We do have Sephora in India because I know that they do have a Sephora tie-up with how they're available in most places and I'm hoping that they do come. On the trip that I'm heading on, I'm really, really hoping to pick up a couple of more items from this brand. I know that they have a new one that's completely matte from the get-go that's taken the social media world by storm. I want to give that a go, um, you know, by buying that one as well. Beautiful shade, great for everyday wear. In case you're wondering, I should put the disclaimer for the video. Uh, the foundation shade that typically matches me is like an NC40 or 42 from MAC, from Lakme. I wear the shade 320 Warm Caramel. It is a touch warmer for me, but works out eventually once it settles in with all the makeup. So those are two drugstore and high-end foundation benchmarks for you to have to shade match with me just in case you're new to this channel and don't know what shade range that I typically do fall into. The lights etc can confuse people sometimes so I just want to put that out there. Second disclaimer that I think I should put is that I'm not aiming for the most perfect swatches over here simply because I'm giving you a shade idea and it's more about what works for your skin on an everyday basis so I don't want to make it seem more or less accentuated than it normally would be which is why I'm not even using lip liner for example today I do use lip liners otherwise for full glam looks and stuff okay I'm someone who does love a nice bold lipstick a nice deep shade I'll do the bolds I'll do the neutrals I'll do the deeps I love it all this makeup forever shade is one of my absolute favorites this is shade number 109 from their artist liquid collection I picked this lipstick up from I want to say Singapore airport a couple of years ago and it's so funny because I bought 109 and then I forgot about it and I was back at some makeup forever store and I picked up shade 110 and I was like oh it's really similar to something I love and I didn't realize that they were literally one number apart in the way that they um, do their shades and they do super similar shades and I really 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 like this one whether I'm wearing makeup or not wearing makeup I love the way this one just makes such 
beautiful statement. Um, I love Makeup Forever formulas across the board, even their foundations, their concealers are really, really nice. And the lipstick, the liquid lipstick uh, formula is also something I truly do enjoy. I know that they're available in India now, so that's fantastic. Uh, they've been available in India for a little bit, but I know that they don't carry like the entire collection. So my hope is that when international brands do come into India, for example, when Fenty does, because I'm sure it will at some point, um, they bring more collections. One of the brands that I think does a really good job with that, to be honest, is Benefit. For example, their entire Paulist range, it was so quick to come into India and they got the entire collection. So credit where credit is due. This is what this one looks like on me. Tell me which one your favorite is from all the swatches I show you down below in the comments. This next shade is from my own brand from Wearified. It is from our liquid lipstick collection that we called the Lip Frosting Liquid Lipstick Collection. This is one of those my lips but better kind of shades. It's called Pink Hot Cocoa. And what I love about it is that depending on who's wearing it, it'll look a little bit more pink or a little bit more brown. I feel like one of our best selling shades in the bullet lipsticks is Monday and that does that too. And we've kind of tried to replicate that in the liquid lipstick collection because I feel like people love bullets and people love liquids there are some that love both but we wanted to make sure we cater to both the audiences i reach for this lipstick so much more than i should admit it is one of my go-to's whether again i'm not wearing makeup or wearing makeup i love the way it sticks to that neutral nude zone of course i love the formula it, lo it lasts really really long and if you're not having an extremely oily meal and a little bit of an oily meal you will not even need a touch up which is my favorite thing about it it lasts and lasts and lasts my simple recommendation to you would be not to apply lip oil or lip balm before you apply this. If you've applied it before, wipe it off because our lipsticks come enriched with a whole lot of goodness, shea butter, vitamin E, etc, etc. And uh, they really genuinely do moisturize your lips like you will feel your lips feeling better while you wear it even after you take it off. So don't add too much emollients on it with, you know, a lip oil even before. Wipe it off before you apply this so that they don't, um, they don't mix with each other and it'll kind of mess up the long lastingness of this. It doesn't need anything else. It's whole by itself. I love this formula, I love this shade and I love the brand if I may say so myself. By the way we do have, this is such a shameless plug, I wasn't intending to do this. We have an offer running on this range where if you buy two liquid lipsticks, you can choose whether you want to get a third liquid lipstick free, whether you want to get a lip oil free or whether you want to get a lip gloss free. I will leave a link into that page down below. Okay, now I do understand that this next shade cannot be for everybody. I already mentioned that I'll do the brights, the bolds, the deeps, the nudes, everything and all. But this orange, very orange shade called Wicked from Color Bar is one of my favorites. I don't know why I don't wear it enough. I think it's because I'm on vlogs so much and I don't want to get the kind of comments sometimes because sometimes people can be a little bit judgy on the internet. But I love the way this shade looks on me. I feel like if you're someone that's not wearing any makeup and still at the same time looking for that one bright burst, this is such a fantastic shade. The only disclaimer I'm going to give with this formula is that you do need to touch it up a little bit. I don't mind that. I feel like we villainize touch-ups a lot. We shouldn't. Um, it, is, it is what it is, to be honest. But the shade is really, really nice. And the application is also super, super smooth. So I want to put that out there. I do feel like this is such a beautiful, summery, pick-me-up kind of a shade. So on a dull day, I lean towards the brighter tones. Okay, this next shade is from one of my all-time favorite beauty brands. It is from Huda Beauty. It is the liquid lipstick. It's the MAC liquid lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. I've had a love-hate relationship with this shade from when I first got my hands on it, but in present day, I absolutely love it. I feel like it's got a consistency very similar to the Fenty one. Very lightweight, very watery. You can feel but not feel it on your lips, that kind of thing. And again, it takes a couple of minutes to really dry it down. But I like that. I don't mind that. Even the Verified lipstick doesn't immediately dry down on your lips. It applies like a liquid slash souffle and then takes two to three minutes, sometimes four minutes, depending on the weather and your lip type to completely dry down like these again and uh, I don't mind that because I feel like anything that's quick drying I mean coming from the technical side of this um, I've been given information on how certain brands achieve that with the kind of ingredients and I'm not a fan of that so I like this I really do like this and again this is a very my lips but better vibe in the little bit more of a brown zone and um, if you're looking for something super subtle something to wear in college something to wear to work a shade like this could really really work for you and this one too is really nice and long lasting I know that they have full-size versions of these as well as minis so just gonna hollow that out 
I know I have the full size as well, but when I was looking for the shade, I found the mini first. So that's what I'm using for this video. This next shade is Le Tella Muffin from Verified's Liquid Lipstick range. I love, 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 love the way this shade looks on absolutely everybody. It has a fan following of its own. It is an exact replica of Le Tella from our bullet lipsticks into the liquid lipstick format. I love, I am yet to meet someone who wears this lipstick and does not love the way this shade looks on them. It can be really light skin tone people, it can be super deep skin tone people or medium people like me. I feel like this brown shade is that perfect dairy milk brown, Nutella brown zone, um, which complements everyone's skin tone so beautifully, whether you are cool, neutral or warm. I love the way it goes on. I don't want to dive into the formula again because it's going to sound like I'm trying to sell it, but I love the way it looks. This shade is one of my absolute ride or dies. It makes for a great day wear or a great night wear because it's just one of those perfect browns that's not too brown or too nude. Um, and I love it. I have a cult favorite lipstick on me right now. I'm talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I know that there is a huge fan club for not just this lipstick, but the entire Pillow Talk collection. And I am one of those people. The Pillow Talk eyeshadow palettes is absolutely fantastic. I've talked about it in great detail in my eyeshadow palette collection video. I can leave in a link for that somewhere here, up above and down below in the description section. I love this shade. I feel like it's a very, very pink shade. I do think that it complements lighter skin tones to medium more than deeper skin tones but i still do think it looks really nice for daily wear again if you want to just kind of have that little bit of a pink wash the packaging is very very luxurious rose gold it has a whole very like english elegant vibe going on on the lips and i'm here for it literally this is me between swatches <laughs> going more into the pink zone i want to talk about rose roulade from the verified liquid lipstick collection i love 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 this pink shade it is my go 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 to pink shade for so many occasions it's pretty much always in my bag as well i do think that my swatch has gone a little too pointy on the cupid's bow but let's ignore that and look at the shade for a quick second i feel like it's one of those shades that reminds me of like the word bloom because it's got this very floral cutesy perfect pink it's not hot pink it's not too light pink and it's the kind of pink that complements again every skin tone i love the way it kind of brings everything together so perfectly it gives you that perfect perfect pout um, and I just love it I really really do love it I think it's the most perfect pink that exists in general am I a little bit biased while saying that I don't know you tell me in the comments okay so if you're a pink girl and you want different variations of pink I feel like I've given you one super light pink with the Charlotte Tilbury one I feel like I've given you a proper bloomy pink with the Rose Roulade one from Verified and I feel like this one is a very subtle elegant in between kind of a pink tone it does not dry down to a full matte it leaves that creamy gloss like finish but this shade beautiful stranger from Pat McGrath is an absolutely Fantastic, stunning shade. I feel like it complements my skin really, really well. I cannot speak for everyone when it comes to this particular shade because again, I feel like this one leans a little bit cool. So it depends on personal preference more than anything else. I feel like personal preference is before anything else for all shades to be honest because the whole idea of oh you should wear this and should not wear this is is a system that I don't live by and I don't go by do whatever you want as long as it's your choice and you like it and you're comfortable and it makes you feel more confident um, but this is a shade that I really really like on days when I'm looking for something with a glossy finish but I don't want to wear two products I lean towards this formula quite a bit and I love the way it looks on me. If you've heard of the best-selling shade Chabot from the Verified collection, which I know has been sold out for a hot minute, we're working on getting the same level of raw ingredients back, then I suggest you look at Carrot Caramel Cake. This is the exact version of Chabot in a liquid lipstick form. It's one of our best sellers and it's got a tinge of caramel, which is basically a tinge of like a peachy, corally zone in there which blends and just brings your skin to look I don't know like I don't know what I'm trying to say one second it just looks amazing on all skin tones it's one of our best sellers and I feel like it looks really great with pe on people across the plethora of skin tones that we've tried them on um, and this is going to be the last shade we talk about today for what looks great at least on me for sure because I'm the same trying these on myself to show you today even without absolutely any makeup Today's Wear Fam comment shout out goes to Tanvi Bajaj 
Bajaj, thank you so much for always talking to me in the comments. You know I love reading, liking, hearting and responding to each and every one of you. Use the hashtag WhereFam down below in the comments so you could possibly get a shout out in one of my upcoming videos. I love you very, very, very much. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, ring the bell button and so you get alerts for all my upcoming videos. There's a lot coming up really, really soon. Big love. Bye.